As you can tell, I am boiling water and I am making some maple brown sugar oatmeal for us for breakfast this morning. It was a little tad chilly. In fact, it got pretty chilly last night. But uh, this is good breakfast and it's good at any time whether it's chilly or not. And here is the results. And it really does taste good, except it made more than we expected, but it does taste good. Here is one bucket that we bought. I think it cost us $76, and it has 97 servings, 21,170 total calories. Just add water. Shelf life is up to 25 years. But there's, and I'm trying to get that, different things that it has in it. And today, I am going to make, um, it's, hold on, hold one second. Uh, today I'm going to make the cheesy broccoli and rice and I am going to add a can of chicken to it so it'll be more filling. I'm only using half a pouch because this is serving for eight people and uh, it's only two. This is the other one that I bought. And this one costs 25 yeah, $25, but it has 55 total servings, and I'm trying to see, it's got, see if I can let you see it, buttermilk, pancakes, maple, which I made this morning, uh, creamy chicken flavored rice, macaroni and cheese, and creamy potato soup. Now, a lot of this, the pouches, you can use half. You know, if it's just one person, well, you know, you break it down according to how many of you there is. But like with this one that I'm making today, it's for eight servings, but I took half and put it in a Ziploc, which I put back in the container. And... And then uh, the other one, oops, I'll do another time, you know, the rest of it. But you can divide this out. It could last for a long time. It can really last you a lot longer than if you go out and buy canned food and stuff like that. Now I want more vegetables. I'm not getting enough vegetables in this, so I'll go out and buy some more vegetables. and Hopefully fresh, but if not fresh... Well, oh, and by the way, the butter, I thought the butter was delicious. It does not melt that well with popcorn. <laughs> I mean, as far as to melt it and then pour it over the popcorn. But what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to get the butter powder and put it on the popcorn and see how that works. And now I'll let you know how that works. I mean, it worked the other way, but not as good. I, I wasn't as happy with it. But uh, next time I make popcorn, which will probably be in the next couple of days, that's our snack, then I will do it that way. And uh, I'll let you know how it turned out. Also, the powdered cheese, you could sprinkle over the popcorn if you wanted to also. So anyway, I just wanted to show you a few things. Uh, regarding the pre prepared food, you know, that I was telling about, the dehydrated, freeze-dried, whatever, and uh, just show you what you can get. And like I said, go to Amazon. Look at Amazon. There's a lot of it there. Uh, go to, a lot of the Walmarts have them. So go check it out. 
do a Google, find out where in your area they may have this. And also the containers are great if you want to store stuff in it, which I'm going to use to put, like, certain things in that are just cluttered all over the place. I'm going to use them. So, anyway, let me let you go. I just wanted to show you and share with you what I'm learning on this. So, love you all. Peace. And thank you for watching. <laughs>